Good day to you. It's Saturday morning. I've just, I haven't just woken up, it's the middle of the afternoon. Uh, um, so here we are in my new uh, FH-16. I thought, and uh, as I promised, I'm going to give you a little tour of the vehicle. So, um, pros and cons, pros and cons, pros and cons. Well, I haven't driven it um, with a trailer or anything yet, so just moved it around the yard. A uh, lot less space than the Scania. That is true, yes. I'm not going to deny that. Everybody knows that. Uh, but I definitely made the right choice. In the Volvo, you feel like you're in an expensive lorry. The uh, When you're sat in the driver's seat, and the seats are amazing. Um, in the 560, it's just the same as Holly. It's, which is still pretty good, because Virginia do spec their lorry as well. But sat in the seat, you'd, you'd know you're in a V8, because they can't, they can't help reminding you about V8 with V8 badges everywhere, but you wouldn't, it's not, this is a proper flagship, I suppose, is the way I'm trying to put it, is, and you know it from sitting in the seat or standing outside. Uh, I made the right choice, I love it, I think it's amazing, it's absolutely stunning. I parked it, um, pointing the road last night, and all you could hear this morning um, was Loris slowing down to look at it and then driving off again. So anyway, here we are. Here is the dashboard. Volvo, focus. Why won't you focus? Come on. My videos are ramshacklers over around me. So, um, pretty much like any other truck really, isn't it? It's got all the different um, bits and pieces. I quite like a feature on this, which is, um, you put in the distance to your destination and it will give you the time based on the average speed. And I also like this, which is one thing I missed in the Scania, because I used to drive for it. That's one thing you've got to forget people don't realise actually is, I'd never really driven a Scania when I came to Virginia. I had a Volvo, I had to drive a Volvo for HSF long before I ever lived in a Scania. I'm pointing at things, hello, this is the finger. Um, and that's one thing I missed in the Scanias was knowing how far you got till you ran out of diesel. That's gone blank now, but it is like 2,000 kilometres or something at the moment, and that's half a tank. <laughs> oh, there we go, 2,250 kilometres. Um, and other bits and pieces. Radio, which is good, it connects to my phone, Bluetooth, so I just get in the lorry. And, um, oh, this bloody camera, I need to buy a new video camera, a proper video camera. Connects to the lorry. Do you know what's a really good feature? And it's even got, look, look, this is good, because um, this is where the Dyna fleet, or wherever it is, they call it, isn't it? It comes up perfect size for phones and I have my phone sat there right because my phone's got speech recognition doodle on it right um, I sat in it yesterday and because uh, it's all connects up as soon as I walk in with Bluetooth which is actually just quite common isn't it in cars and stuff but not so common in lorries and then he started reading a message. he said message from Rob Barnes read or ignore so you just say read and it read it out to me and then you can reply and it works really well as well so I can just sit here and reply um, all I've got to work out how to do is make get it to to allow me to read tweets to it, and then we're sorted. It's got these little things, which when you've got the indicators on and you're manoeuvring at low speeds, it puts on like um, corner lights. Um, it's got a night heater. What a revolutionary thing! This is Snufkin from the Moomins. Snufkin is a wanderer who doesn't like sleeping in buildings, so he's like my patron saint. Because let's face it, he's just as real as Saint Christopher. Um, oh, that was a controversial remark. Hill hold and all that, but I don't really use that. What else we got in here? Oh, and then you got the pod. Do, do, do. Oh, it's also got, I've also got a remote control for the radio, so I can sit in bed and you remote controlize the radio. Um, nice little feature on the back wall, as well as uh, the same with all Volvos, isn't it? With the lights and the, and the door lock. That's something you don't get on scan. Yes. Um, cupboard there. Bottle holder. Email coming through, nice fridge full of goodies, including some cider and some duck eggs. The underbunk storage is good. I quite like the fact that, um, I just think the Volvos, I'm not going to have a go at Scania's now because I do think Scania make amazing trucks. But the Volvo, oh my god, let me just put this in for a bit. It's slightly better thought out, well, they sort of have to be because they haven't got enough, as much space. But you've got like these little trays that sit on top of the lockers and stuff which I really like, and um, there's either side there, it's full of junk at the moment, I've got to sort it out properly when I get a chance, and these seats are amazing, 
I love them. They're so soft. I'm not a big fan of um, shiny, shiny leather, so these are perfect and nice armrests. It's all pre-wired for a TV. You got um, you can plug it into uh, the radio there. Cigarette light, uh, power socket there, and it's got a ready mounted digital aerial. So I'm going to buy a TV for it. Um, cupboards and stuff, which is all self-explanatory. There, cupboards. Bert is still up here. What am I doing up here? You know this is against my human rights. Read the Geneva Convention. I need access to a window. He's been like that all morning. So, um, and the Volvo comes with this nice little mattressy thing, so... Cover. Get back, you bastard. Um, it's got, oh, there we are, it's got rain-sensitive windscreen reapers. That's what this little doodle is. It's called Lady Michelle, which I stuck on the dash. There was a spare sticker. I'm aware, before anybody says anything, that's not straight. F816 on the door panels, which appears to be reflective. Um, lots of nice little cubby holes in this that you don't have in the Scanny, but then again, like I say, they sort of have to be a bit more designed in the Volvo because there's a lot more room in the Scanny, you know? So let's go outside and have a look. Let's start it up to start with. It's got a nice roar to it when you're moving. Deadly quiet when you're um, not. Hang on, let me put the camera down for a moment. Yo, yo Volvo is a lot higher up. I'll give it that much. It's got um, Xenon headlights. Beautiful alloy wheels, I've always wanted alloy wheels. Let me just switch the engine off, it'll be easier to hear. A fire extinguisher. Massive, massive tanks. I think they're like 1500 litres or something. A double, uh, twice the size of that blue tank. 120 litres. Um, alloy wheels. I've put my little bits and pieces on it already, look. Good number plate, 1100. And here we are, this is the piece de resistance. I wasn't sure how this would turn out because it's photographs. But um, it's actually turned out really well. Apparently this, uh, I'm told this was their father's lorry. 10 points for if you can name it, I had to ask what it was. Although now I've done a close up, somebody will easily get it. Oh, there it is again, look. Just noticed. Lovely, isn't it? Lady Michelle. So, um, basically, that's it. You've had a bit of a tour there, haven't you? I'm going to have to wash it now before the show. The, um, the show. The, um, shindig down the road in the photographs. That here is amazing in it I absolutely adore it this is a dream come true people I know there'll be some of you moany old buggers out there that think I'm mad but you got to remember that my first memories involve trucks so it means a lot to me if it's just a job to you then fine but it's more than a job to me there we go look at that what a beaut so thank you for watching oh there's going to be a really good video. I'm not sure I've ever made a video of this trip before, so it's perfect. Um, I'm going to Portugal tomorrow, shipping out on the direct boat from Rosslare Irish Ferries, which is really nice because you get your own cabin. And um, yeah, off to uh, trying to focus that so I can turn it around and point on my face. Off to Portugal tomorrow, so that's nice, isn't it? So good first run, although it's going to be a light load, alas. But uh, hopefully we'll bring something heavy back. Can't believe I'm itching for heavy loads now. So, um, yes, thank you for watching. Oh, and thank you so much for all the excitement. It's made my... Uh, yeah, it's been brilliant. I love the fact everybody got so excited. As excited as me, it seems. It is, um, yeah. P 
people, yeah, it's just I find it funny that some people can't understand why I took the 750 over the Scania when the Scania is a beautiful, beautiful truck. It looks lovely. Scania make fantastic lorries. Don't get me wrong, I love Scanias. But this is uh, the most powerful production truck ever built. I just don't, I can't, you know, I'm going to sacrifice a little bit of space to drive a truck that, God knows, 99.9% .9 of drivers will never get to drive. Something like that. I don't know. That's not disclaimer. <laughs> Static statistics may not be correct. But you know what I mean? How many people, there's a handful of these in Ireland, for instance. There's only, I don't know, there's like four or five in the north, I think, or something like that. How many people will get to drive one of these on a daily basis? Lots of people drive 560s, and I may get to drive a 560 again in the future. But no, very few people get to drive one of these every day of the week. So, um, so yeah, it's a massive, massive honour to be given this lorry. I would like to thank my parents. I would like to thank the driving instructor that taught me to drive a lorry. I would like to thank my brothers and sisters who supported me through thick and thin. The family Labradors and small fat Jack Russell. Um, my manager, my producer, oh, and Bertie for pushing me on to constantly do better. There we are, there's my Oscar acceptance speech. I'm going to go and uh, give her a spruce up now. I actually started laughing earlier because I walked out of the workshop and saw her sat there in the sun. It was like, ha ha ha, it's mine. I think it's caused, possibly causing someone on animal animosity amongst other drivers, but there we are, such is life. Right, I've got to go do this, go and have a shower, and then upload this video. Thank you for watching, and uh, watch out for Portugal coming next. That'll be fun, won't it? A brilliant run for the first run. That is absolutely brilliant, isn't it? Couldn't actually be per 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 perfect, but as long as I don't get napped by the Spanish and shafted for millions of euros. But there we are. Somebody's got to pay off the Spanish national debt. Good day to you all.